thinking and rethinking and reflecting some issues. Uh, to some, it's a time to celebrate, but to Asia, it's a challenging issue, it's a challenging tax. Uh, challenge in the sense that we know the challenges largely uh, our security, particularly the Nigerian IMS are facing. And uh, inshallah, we'll do our best, one, to see how we are going to strengthen some security measures in the sense that uh, uh, where, we, where maybe Nigerians feel there are some challenges or leakages, we'll do our best to see that uh, we strengthen all the measures, inshallah, to make them more stronger and to see what we can achieve. And uh, more importantly, we are going to create some certain things which is new. We'll guide them, we'll advise them, and we'll give them some input. We'll try and see that uh, we advocate, or we try and see that we, like a sort of community intelligence gathering, we'll use the community at least to get some input what is happening and uh, some remote or some rural areas. And uh, far more than that, uh, we have shortage of manpower. Everybody knows as the main job or the main work of an. Uh, but it's not uh, their wish to join this kind of banditry issue, but we don't have alternative. But whatever we are going to do to save Nigeria, to protect Nigeria, to protect our people's lives and property, we'll do it particularly in terms of employment, increasing the number of personnel. And also, as an economist, I know the challenges largely they are facing. Uh, largely, if you look at what maybe America is investing, or United Kingdom is investing, or any developed countries is, is investing in their army. Maybe they are talking about maybe the GDP <coughs> and other issues of the country. Maybe some percentage have been maybe channels to increase their resources. We'll do our best to convince our colleagues when it comes to appropriation. You know, you know, people fail to understand largely, uh, largely the difference at times between the Senate and the House of Reps. We do the major work. We appropriate. They only confound. Mm. So we do the bulk of work, and we'll continue to do it. I assured you. Whatever we'll do, we'll collaborate with our colleagues to see what we can convince them. And when it comes for appropriation, in terms of budget, either the main budget or supplementary, we'll work together. We'll work with the executive. And not the money to come, or not the budget, or not the, to come in an envelope. We'll try before the budget and see what we can convince the Ministry of Budget and National Planning, or the executive, what largely maybe the percentage which will go for Nigerian army. Because whatever you are raising, we need security more than anything. If you are talking of uh, industrialization, you are raising the question of agriculture, farming, food security, and other things, security comes first. Like now, uh, yesterday I left my constituency with some challenges. And uh, there is no doubt about it. I'm so lucky. I'm on the ground. I know what is happening. We know the challenges our people are facing. 
not only in my constituency, not only in my state, not only in Northwest, not only in North, but the whole nation. And we will work hand in hand, inshallah, with our colleagues who are in either Air Force or Navy or police uh, or undercover to see how we can make Nigeria greater. And uh, also, more importantly, is the issue or the question of stakeholders. We need to create a sort of stakeholders and various either communities, communities or constituencies or at state level or from regional point of view to see how we can arrange, arrange the question or the question crisis we are facing in Nigeria. And also, we we'll give uh, largely not only I mean, but the so-called security agencies to collaborate with neighboring countries. Uh, maybe Niger Republic, Chad, Benin Republic, the whole. And uh, not only within West African region, but within Africa, but the whole world in general. We'll see how we can get, how can we can bring out that kind of collaboration. And also, more importantly, uh, the international organizations, <coughs> apart from the governments, uh, we need to see a collaboration between our maybe Nigerian armed forces or Nigerian army in particular and some international organizations. And uh, we will always dialogue and collaborate and confirm not with the media and get input from people, not only uh, maybe those who are in the city, even those who are in the rural areas. Uh, thank you very much. I don't know whether maybe my powerful deputy has one or two things to say. And I assured you, I'm not going to fail not only House of Representatives, but the whole National Assembly. And more importantly, we're not going to fail in Nigeria. Also, my state and my constituents, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate, I don't know, maybe my powerful deputy will uh, have one or two things to say. My say a huge congratulations to you and my own honorable colleague, the powerful deputy chairman, House Committee on Works, my own brother. We are all children of Baba. And uh, I can assure you that <coughs> when the president and commander in chief of armed forces speaks, the subordinate no longer speaks. That is the rule of the game. Um, the Honorable Chairman have said it all, and we are in the same tune, we are in the same line. There shall be, you know, increase in all the input and all the effort, and by the grace of God, synergy is the order of the day. Thank you so much. And uh, maybe... Thank you very much, Baba. And uh, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, indeed, this is one of the wonderful, remarkable day to the development of the security of this nation. Having been my elder, my brother, and my leader, appointed by the Speaker of the Tenth Assembly, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, as the Chairman of the Committee on Army today, and uh, I can assure you the job is just the beginning. And uh, by the special grace of God, we are assuring this nation and assuring our Abu Chairman, as a member of this committee, our total support and cooperation to the success 
of his tenor. We thank you all and we thank the people, the tenth assembly, the people's house leader, Tajuddin Abbas, Ian Zanzo. Thank you very much. Thank you.